I think one of the biggest challenges that I face is living my personal life in the public eye. It's like every day you're out there, they see you, and it becomes like a burden to them, not realizing that all we're trying to do is make it another day. So they're, they're all different kinds of people that are, that are on the street that for some reason have found themselves suddenly without a place to live. I just pray that people understand that the homeless aren't people out there that's just giving up on life. It's just like the challenges. Some they can't meet and some's just too much for them. Uh, you got your you got your nice days and you got you know there's bad days. You try to make the most of what, what little you have. It can happen to us. It can happen to them who are opposing having homeless shelters in their neighborhoods. It can happen to their brothers, sisters, relatives. Bad times don't um, ask for an invitation, they just come. Well, one thing I can say is, not only us, but everyone's just one bad situation from being homeless, if they really think about it. Baltimore County Communities for the Homeless is a, ga a gathering of, right now, mostly, many of, many of the people are servers of people who are homeless. And so people that run shelters and people that do feeding programs, people that do emergency assistance programs, um, a lot of individuals who take part in those programs as well. And all of the grants that we have. BCCH is, is not one organization, it's, an organi it's a group of organizations who all are working together. We um, help run homeless shelters, uh, primarily women with small kids. We also help run um, uh, free clinics for the uninsured. We got people here who are doctors. We have uh, teachers. We have people, we have humans. We have people here that's like the public, general public, not to be frowned upon, but who's, who's had a, a rut in their life, who can't seem to get out of that rut, who seem to be, when they wake up in the morning, they lose all inspiration because of where they're at. But most, many of them you would never recognize. If you walked by them on the streets, you wouldn't know they're homeless. I think it puts a local face on local, local people in touch with, with the poor. And in that way, it, it, it puts a human face on the community, both the community that is housed and the community that is looking for housing. And it helps us understand each other better. Voted against affordable housing. This city council They bring people in for, professional people in just for success. How to dress to go out for a job. How to speak. How to listen. And how to be persistent and not to give up. Particularly in suburbia, I think we've, we have a sense that everybody can take care of themselves. And not everybody can. We need community, all of us need community, and communities that care about us. And it's, it's important for people not to, you know, to fall out of, uh, or have a sense that they've completely fallen out of community. We're just people that, it's in a situation today that we seem to find ourselves stuck in. That it is very difficult to get out of. But yet, there's a very big success story here. A lot of people have moved forward, thank God, and they're, they're not going back. I, I think we want people to know that they don't have to be afraid of people that are homeless. Remember that they are our neighbors. Um, look for ways of, of assisting them and, and letting them know that they are cared about by the larger community. Although we're homeless, we're not helpless. And with some little help that we can get from the public, goes a long way for someone who has next to nothing. <laughs>